the brown archipelago is like one organism. The tides are the lungs and the salmon are the bloodstream. They pick up nutrients from the open ocean and they carry it right up to the forest floor, up the mountains. I first came here over 23 years ago. It looked like a vast wilderness. Now it's a beautiful little living organism, a little gem, and I feel very moved to protect it. Echo Bay is a tiny community. There's only about 40 people here, and so we're something like a family. It's, it's, it's still civilized yet. Everybody, nobody locks anything. Everything is safe. You don't have to worry about things going away or, or anybody bothering you or crime or anything like that. It's rather comfortable. I really love my neighbors. I love this community. If I need anything, they're there for me. It's a very satisfying experience to live in a small community. No, you're good for a lot of stuff. Well, we know that. It's really fun living here because there's just so many animals around here and you get to do things that people in the city don't get to do. I came here in 1984. I lived on a boat with my young filmmaker husband and when we found Echo Bay, we realized immediately it was perfect. And then in 1986, um, he drowned while I was out there with him. And so for the next couple of years, I was in mourning and it was, it was very difficult for me, but the Broughton Archipelago healed me. And then the situation reversed itself where the Broughton became wounded and it was up to me to heal it. The Broughton Archipelago used to support 10,000 First Nations people because the salmon always kept its promise, always kept, kept coming in the fall, just before winter, when everybody needs food. Then in 2001, a neighbor brought two little fish to me, a little pink salmon and a little chum salmon. And they had uh, these little hair-like things on them. I had no idea that those two little fish were gonna change my life. But I built a net and I went around and everywhere as I went, the fish had holes in them, had lice on them. They were bleeding, they were slow. Well, these fish look terrible. Um, they're blotchy, they should be all smooth colored. I can see lice on quite a few of them. Yeah, you can see the louse on the side of this fish, right there. I made a circular pattern trying to find the edge of this epidemic, of this plague of lice. And as I traveled around looking at more and more fish, I realized it was centered around the salmon farms. We don't want to make the salmon farmers leave British Columbia. We don't want the people in the industry to lose their jobs. But we do want them to move over. And with the research myself and these young researchers are doing, we can tell them exactly how far they need to move over. There's no point in doing something if it's not going to have the desired effect. So for example, if they reduce the number of sea lice in their farms, which they have done with drugs, if it's not low enough for the wild fish, there's no point to doing it. It doesn't matter if a pink salmon dies of 105 lice or if he dies of two lice, they're just as dead. So this research, I'm hoping, will be used to figure out how we can have both the farms and the wild fish, because we can do it. One of the things that's become apparent to me as, as a woman and as a scientist is that as the salmon go, so my community goes. We depend on the salmon. It makes me real, like, real, really sad for the salmon because everybody's connected to the salmon in a really big way. And if the salmon go, everything else will go. Any place on Earth today that still makes clean water, clean air, and clean food, we need to protect it because we depend on it. It's not about saving the wildlife. It's about humans being on Earth with these animals and this is all we've got for now. I'm not a traditionally religious person, but I have become deeply spiritual living here. It drove me to create a ritual for wishing the salmon safe passage to sea. And so it's an act of laying hands on water 
whether it's lake, river, ocean, even a kitchen faucet running, because all water is connected. And just to close my eyes and wish those fish safe passage to sea and back home to us.